Hey everybody, it's uh, Christopher Dixonland Farm, and I received a package earlier in the week from my good friend Jim. Uh, but to be honest, I haven't spun a vinyl record since September. It's almost been, yeah, nine months? Nine months, right? If I'm doing the math right? I think I am. It's a long time. That doesn't mean I don't appreciate Jim sending me stuff. We, uh, been friends for a while here. We've met a couple of times when I've been on vacation. And uh, yeah, let's see what he sent along. And first thing he sent me is, this is just incredible because I think I've remarked, I don't have any I can Tina Turner records ever. I've never seen them actually in the wild. And to finally get one, Jim, mwah. I don't know what she was singing. That's what I did. Can Chris pronounce it on first attempt? Shostakovich. 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 Dmitri Shostakovich. Yeah, with Simon Bitch. Cough. Bitch. Cough. On Phillips. Phillips, uh, I think, is a well known audiophile. And I don't actually have much on Philips. Uh, I can feel that it's Dynaflex, but uh, you can tell from the vinyls it is pure, pristine. A lot of times they did, uh, at least with RCA, Dynaflex was still virgin vinyl, but didn't have any regrind in it. So that meant that it uh, played well at first, but if you scratched it, it's over. Battlestar Galactica with Giorgio Moroder and there's so much to love about this album. Georgia Marauder, right? I feel love. Oh my god. I had an original. I have bought a reissue. This is a, a reissue from uh, Astral Works. Hmm. And this is Here Come the Warm Jets. My uh, first or second favorite Eno record? Second. Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy would be the first. This would be the second. But look, we've got the European cuts. So, uh... And I've mentioned it before, there's a woman urinating on the cover. What a debut. I don't like Roxy Music, but I love Brian Eno and his, uh, his singing albums. The, the ambient stuff, some of it's good, some of it's not so good. But, uh, yeah. Needle and Camel's Eye. What an opener. Opener for... Uh, I've already talked too much. The Butterfeel... Blues band, so Paul Butterfield. This has got some uh, some ring wear. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, yeah, so Paul, Paul Butterfield, well known. I've got a couple of his records. I don't have this, which is odd. On Electra. Oh, you can't see that. Now you can. Electra. Great. It's uh, you know white boy blues. Blue Oyster Cult. What? Uh, bad channels. I'll be honest, I just, I don't, never heard of this movie. I don't know anything about it. Blue Oyster Cult, I mean, everyone knows them. The hell is this, Jim? I don't know. Tim Buckley, uh, goodbye and hello, right? This is a reissue. Oh, oh. I have one other Tim Buckley album. Can, can you hold on a moment? Talk amongst yourselves. Buck. Lee. Buck. Lee. Buckley. Yeah. Here it is. The Tim Buckley album I've been talking about. Pac-Man Fever. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we've got the uh, Happy Sad. So goodbye, hello, Happy Sad together. And I've got the uh, the autographed edition. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna keep all the jokes to myself. From what I remember, these are the two to have. Lovely reissue. 180 grams. The European cut corners. Tim Buckley. 
that's awesome. This one I do have uh, already. This is uh, Mr. Protect, uh, Mr. Percussion by Terry Snyder and the All Stars. I, I I do believe I have this one. Maybe I don't. I'm gonna go double check. But uh, this is uh, Lounge Space Age Bachelor Pad Esquival esque. It says creator of per, uh, persuasive percussion. I believe you. And of course they're trying to rip off uh, United Artists is trying to rip off the command records, but still. Wall to wall stereo! Wall to wall stereo! Stereo stereo Not so much quad, but Jim, all these records. Fantastic. You may uh, make me break my not listening streak here. Thank you for these. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for sending them. You didn't have to. I hope you are safe and well. We both have not been able to go to the gym. I've been going around the exercise track, but uh, that is not helping enough. I'm exercising three, four times a week, but still not quite at the level that I used to be able to in a gym. Hopefully you have been doing the same. For our hearts, that's why we're both doing it. Jim's was more serious, mine was, uh, I saw the writing on the wall. Anyway, that's my message. Keep exercising. Keep your chins up. Keep your Tim Buckley's up. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.